Hello, hello. Welcome back, guys. How's everyone doing? I hope you got a nice little break in there. Uh, let's see. Mary. I love it. Sorry, I missed the sprint. So I'd make up, make up for it by being early for planning. That is awesome. Thank you. I love that. But your sweet moves. Wrong thing. Scrolling, guys. Scrolling. It is a problem. Behave. There. Okay. Let's see, who else has joined us? Hello, Bryn. Hello, Rita. Rita is saying hi, friends, to everyone. Uh, let's see, and Jenna made it, made it over. Awesome. Let's see, send some love to the like button, lovelies. Oh, love it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Elaine, hi, hi. Glad you guys could make it back. Okay. Huh. Need to help take a deep breath. We are getting all the things done today. Um, as promised, I did go through and I was tweaking our plan a little bit here and there. I also, <laughs> it's gonna sound crazy. Uh, I also have some notes on my phone. So if you see me picking up my phone, it's because I threw notes on there out of convenience. Should not have done that. Just should have had note cards, but it is what it is. If you see me referring to that, that's, that's part of the plan. <laughs> Uh, let's see, T. Marie, hello again. Yes. Uh, oops, I am not going to get used to that clicking thing. It moves, it's kind of slow to scroll at the bottom. So it's like, no, no, get in the right spot, guys. So I'm going to bring up my other sub notes I have here. That was part of the plan. Okay, and I will just keep that handy so I can refer to both. Okay, huh. so I guess we're going to start off with how we normally do this with our weekly check-in to see how you all did, but I want to do th something a little differently. Before we actually go in and review the plan, I want you to tell us how you think you did. How did the week feel? Do you feel like you got as much done as you hoped to? Did you get all the things done that mattered to you? Um, then we'll go and we'll look and we'll see, because often we surprise ourselves. We're really hard on ourselves often, and we don't give ourselves, we don't actually acknowledge the things that we do get done. So jump in first and just tell me how you guys feel that you did last week um, in terms of your productivity and your success in getting things done. For me, without looking at my, uh, I think that I had a fairly good week. Um, I have, how am I gonna do this now? I have an assortment here of, I went to three jars because I'm in the So we have what's been accomplished so far for the week. We have what remains for today, if I can get through them. Some of them are green, so they're going to have fun. <laughs> and then we have what remains, which I don't think I'm going to get to. So um, overall, I think it's a pretty good week. I know one of the things where I didn't do it. But the th I didn't get to it because I knew that it was more important that I do something else. So it got bumped. I'm mad at myself a little bit because I didn't want to bump it. But in order to bring you guys this new setup, that took an X amount of time. So <laughs> decisions and choices, right? Okay, let's see. Hello, Elizabeth. Glad you could make it. Let's see. Elaine. It felt great at the start, but I struggled later in the week, I think. Oh, interesting. Yes, and sometimes it's that ebb and flow of how our how our week goes with us. Let's see. Bryn, my week was a train wreck of extra appointments, but I think I did okay. I wrote every day, but yesterday it's really good. Let's see. Um, Elizabeth, I'm cooking dinner now. I'm currently cutting vegetables. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Elaine, I really need to get those glass bead thingies. <laughs> if anyone actually knows the correct name of them, I call them glass beads, but there's nothing bead-like about them. <laughs> um, now I would still call it vase bead. I don't know. I, I just think they're amazing. I think the Sarah's so on to something with that. And her new desk. Oh, guys, gorgeous, right? Let's see. Mary, uh, I was sick, so I didn't get as much done as I wanted, but I still managed okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah, often when we get sick, we have to we have to give ourselves the time to get better, and we're terrible at that, generally speaking. Um, 
Let's see, Elizabeth, my week was crazy with chest pain, but at least the chest x-ray and EKG I got on Wednesday came back normal. So it's just probably some little lingering thing. It will pass. Give yourself the time to get better. Uh, Christine, hello again. Uh, Rita, I felt as if I had a good week. Revisions with accounting almost daily. Got lots of reading and rest in too. Well, that sounds amazing. Uh, let's see. Heather, um, I wrote every day. That was my goal. That's perfect. Let's see. And also with my full time. Okay, definitely. Uh, T. Murray, I had an amazing week. It's been over a year since I've written on my book, and the live sprints have really helped. I wrote over 10K this week alone. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Well done. Uh, I can't remember what word count I gave myself. I think I... I think I got the Count Nano one. I don't know if I got my other one. <laughs> uh, let's see, Jenna, vacation went not how we planned it, and that carried over into this week's energy-wise more like than I like. Ooh, okay. You'll have to explain that. Hmm. Okay. Sounds more complicated than it should have been. Elaine, that's so awesome. Team Marie, definitely, yes. 10K in a week is a beautiful goal. Um, let's see, Rita, I used a tumble stones from our jars, one art words for one stone. I put enough for 5k words and so close to that goal for revisions. I still need to write a new chapter or two, but you are definitely almost there. Your writing today and during the sprints was amazing. Let's see, Elizabeth, I think I pulled a muscle in my chest while I was coughing when I had COVID. I'll be seeing it. Yeah. And that is unfortunately just a time thing like that muscle injuries are harder to deal with unfortunately um let's see Bryn I think they're called glass pebbles thank you pebbles yes see my, my like five-year-old self would have thought pebbles without even a thought <laughs> uh T Marie is uh so thank you to Elaine let's see um that makes sense, Bryn. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, let's see. And Rita, Team Marie, awesome. Des definitely, definitely. Okay, now let's check in and see what we actually did. I'm actually pulling out the red pen. Guys, if you haven't seen these before, these are the Jetstream pens, multis. This one has um, this one has a pretty little flower thing on top, which looks like it should be an eraser or something, but it is not. That's the only flaw with this pen. But what I have is a red, a black pen, and a pencil on one, which I love this thing. So I'm going to go to my red pen, and I'm going to go scratching all over last week's plan to see for sure how I ended up. Okay, guys, I'm going to put the two-minute timer up. Let's dive in and truly see how we did with last week's plans. Pull them up, uh, whatever you had it in, notebook, planner, wherever you put last week's plans down, your whole pre-plan list. And let's dive in. Hold on, is there anyone right here? Okay. Okay, two-minute timer going up. Weekly review.
Hmm. Okay, how did you do? I I have to do some math because that's the one thing I have not done is find out. I started yesterday, but I hadn't um I need to update that. <laughs> Hold on. So far, eh, not bad, not bad, not bad. And like I said, I know the thing that I felt short on. <laughs> but it was still, it was so it was still social media um centered, focused. It just wasn't the, the one that I kind of had planned. It was the one that I thought would be really fast and easy to change until we got into it and found out, no, no, that's gonna take longer. So it went into the other and stole from the other time. All right, let's see. Let's see. Um, my plan for next week didn't happen close to how I thought it would, but sometimes life has other plans. This week I foresee getting more done than last week. Definitely you will. You'll be starting to feel much better now. Um, Elaine did less work on my edits than I hoped. Didn't quite finish, but I hit a bit of a wall midweek and had to take an afternoon off to help my brain chill. And that's that's self-care, and that is good. Uh, social media men took more time than planned. Oh, words out of my mouth, exactly. Uh, the thing we thought would be it's quick and easy. No, not so much. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, I need to quickly just add. And, of course, in the, unless the nano site wants to be a little grumpy. I don't know if anyone else is having this, but the nano site works perfectly on my computer, my laptop. On my iPad, on my phone, it's torturing me. <laughs> Which one do you think I prefer to use? <laughs> uh, let's see here if I can get this to work. Trick it into working. There, I tricked it into working. There you go. Now, what I want is there. Um, I need to figure out which one I haven't added in yet. That is not the one that I want. No, it's not that either. They changed it. No, you did not. There it is. <laughs> ah, let's see. Um, apparently, I'm going to have to go back and argue with that because it wasn't quite what I had in mind. Um, let's see. Heather, not much done on getting the house ready to sell, but my husband didn't show up to do anything, so I guess points for I get points for doing something. I'm about two thousand short on words, but it was an aggressive goal. That's good. That's good. Remember, we we tiered our goals to make them so that they would be um, that they would we would be able to push ourselves but still succeed, right? Uh, hey, uh, Mary Rose. Welcome new week. Definitely. I think we all need one. <laughs> uh, let's see. We had a self-care, lots of extra reading and quiet time chores. Still struggling with extra cleaning stuff and men and writing successful. That's what you want to hear. Definitely well done. Uh, Rita, let's see. We watched a few morning sprints at 8.30 my time and caught all the regular live sprints. That's perfect. I'm really bad about, well, when, unfortunately, when the morning ones are on, that's usually about 4 a.m. our time. So, yeah, that is not so easy. <laughs> see, Bryn, 9,035 words, published and promoted book, two books edited, started an audio book in Google Play, considering I lost three days. A win. Yeah, that's fabulous for losing three days. Wow. Congrats. Oh, and seven Patreon posts. Nice. Very nicely done. Um, Kelly Reese, good evening, everyone. Glad to be here. Thank you for joining us. And I think that's going to be it. Okay. I will, um, I know all I had to do was add the one or two days that I hadn't gotten in there. Let's see. Oh, and I did it all individually. Why would I do that to myself? That does not seem like a good idea. <laughs> uh, oh. That's because I did not do that. This is 90, 769, 42, 779. Oh, I may have actually made my second goal on that one. That would be cool if that could happen. Mary, 
Uh, my focus was more on self-care last week. I also tried to focus on housework since monthly inspection is tomorrow. However, I have gotten more done today than all of the week combined. And isn't that so true? That is that deadline speaking. That is that this is why we try to give ourselves our own personal deadlines. They're not quite as good as when there's an external force that's going to force us to actually follow through on these things. But at the same time, that deadline just makes you more accountable. This is why we're doing the weekly group, because it makes us more accountable when we have to come back to each other and say, yep, I didn't do it again. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I'm going to get my math done. If it... Oops. And... Okay, there. I can go back to my plan. There we are. Now I'm organized. Somewhere between better and best. So better, I guess. Okay, guys. Um, we are going to dive into our next one, which is... Let's see. Oops. I did not put these in the right order. Well, actually, let's do that a little differently. We're going to mix things up because why not? Um, okay, now we're going to turn to our monthly calendar, whether that be your Google uh, your Google calendar or your monthly calendar. Um, are there any important dates you need to be aware of this week? Appointments, events, or commitments um, that you've agreed to do? And how are they going to affect your regular schedule? And do you need to do any prep to get ready for them? Or is there going to be travel time, something that's just going to make it longer than just the timing of the appointment or commitment? Okay, guys, two-minute timer going up and go. Um, hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I just discovered something. It should be our virtual writing retreat next weekend. And I do not have my times and dates planned yet. So as you guys know, normally I do the Saturday um, 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern. for, um, But I have to figure out where I'm going to put the plan with me. I can't put it at 7 because that would be right on top of... Um, we would still be doing our writing sprints. Um, so I'll probably have to move it to 8 p.m. I will get that up as soon as I can for you guys. I um, didn't realize I didn't have those numbers yet. Um, so I'm just going to put um, an 8 p.m. on that with a question mark. 
and I will try to get that notification up as fast as I can. That's that's not good. Didn't realize I was lacking on that one. Um, let's see. Um, so for Elizabeth, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow at four. I also plan to do something with my father this week since he is, has a vacation from work this week and next week and next week my immediate family and I. Sweet. Uh, let's see. Oh, are going to Cape Cod from Monday to Thursday. Oh, have a have an awesome time. That is that sounds amazing. Um, Elaine, have to get this book to the proofer by Friday night. So that's my focus this week. Oh yeah. Um, every sprint you can find, you should be on. <laughs> Probably going to bail on socials all week, we eh? mm. Um, you you will don't um Social media that wastes your time, yes. Community time that gets you in the seat and gets you writing, don't let that go because that'll help you to succeed. Um, let's see, Jenna. I realize I don't have my things ready for August. <laughs> you and me both, then. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Elaine, is the virtual writing happening this month? It is supposed to. As far as I know, I, I'm pretty sure that was the plan. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit out of it that I'm like, hold on, I don't have dates and times to give you guys. And I like to have you as organized, have everything as organized as possible. So I'm hoping by Thursday I can put something up so you guys know and you can go and look in and find out. Let's see. Um, Heather, uh, I work a normal schedule five days versus four on Monday. Not only do I have to remember to go to work, I have to drop my daughter off for a week long school trip out of state. Ooh, nice. That sounds like another amazing opportunity. Uh, let's see, Jenna, or half of my things for my sprints, or half of my things for my sprints during the 18th. Okay, okay. Um, Mary inspection tomorrow, also working from home, and we'll be doing a grocery pickup. Wednesday is payday, so paying bills. Thursday is my bestie's birthday. Well, that sounds awesome, and I hope you guys have an amazing time celebrating her birthday. Um, Elizabeth, good idea, definitely. Bryn, I have a book due on Thursday. Eek, okay, you and Elaine. <laughs> you can use, you two need to buddy up right now and make sure that you're like back and forth talking to each other, pushing yourselves, both of you, to get that done. <laughs> ah, I'll be at every sprint, yes. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, Rita, library meeting for Thursday. The weekend is crazy. Three different events. AWC with Jenna, Traverse thing with Hubby, and Sarah's video too. So I will be sneaking away. And the virtual writing uh, retreat too. Oh boy. Yes, that is a lot. Definitely. Let's see. Um, let's see. Elaine, you can pop it in the community tab too on YouTube. Yes, I will. That sounds good. That sounds actually perfect. Good reminder. That is another thing I'm going to try to get done. Just make myself a note. Yeah, I can give you guys a quick overview of the schedule on that. I like that. That's a really good idea. Thank you, Elaine. Um, Rita, um, and my dad arrives next weekend too. He's driving from Ontario to Saskatchewan, at least four days of travel. <sighs> That's a long trip. Oh, I hope he's careful. Takes it easy. Um, Heather, it is an amazing trip. She's going on an FFA leadership trip to DC. Oh, it is. That is an amazing opportunity. Wow. Um, let's see. Wonder Twins Power <laughs> Print and Elaine. Yes. <laughs> ah, Brin to Elaine. Love it. Yes, definitely. Your 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 dude your deadlines are so close together. It's like perfect. Uh, T. Marie, I have a doctor's appointment Monday at two p.m. in the farmers market. Saturday from six forty-five a.m. to noon. Otherwise, my schedule is open. Oh, that sounds fun too. Okay, guys. The one thing I forgot to do into our review was there anything that you guys wanted to carry forward that didn't get done last week? I'm going to throw a two-minute timer up just so we can quickly generate that and uh, make sure it's part of our plan.
plus y. Okay. okay, let's see how you did. I realized why I didn't do the carry forward because the note card that I had that on there was not in the stack. <laughs> so it's probably still in my folder. So I had to pull that out and make sure the next time I have all the cards. <laughs> let's see. Uh, Heather, they do. She earned all the money for herself. Mom and dad pitched in zero. Woo! Even better. Awesome. Let's see. Heather, I'm carrying over the house, but until Heather makes more of a plan, I'm not stressing over it. Yeah, you guys kind of work coordinatedly on that. There's no point in you cleaning something up if it's just going to be dismantled or, or changed too much or something. Other than clearing and decluttering, well, that always helps, right? Uh, let's see. Um, Elizabeth, I also plan to make it to a few writing sprints this week. Perfect. Um, Rita, um, is the move uh, forward mostly the tasks that weren't finished or just tasks you wish you could, uh, oh, that you wish to continue working on? And mostly just the things that didn't happen that you kind of feel like they still are relevant and you want to keep them in your plan. Sometimes you miss something and it's this is done. It's gone. Like that, that opportunity left. <laughs> Either you miss the deadline or you, it's no longer relevant. But um, for me, it was more the fact that um, these are the things, a couple of them just keep showing up on there. And I think I figured out what one of them is about. And it's because it needs to actually physically be put up on the wall to be truly useful to me. Right now it is not. And that's not working. So I have to figure out something in a way, in a way to make that work better for me. Um, so I'll get that get on. And then I think that will help a lot with my HB90 planning. Because right now, the way I've resorted my uh, my goals to make them a little more fine-tuned. I know I'm breaking Sarah's rules all over the place by doing that. But I want it to be able to have more more control and a little more, uh, make them a little more specific to, to the parts of my life I'm trying to work them into. Um, I think that's going to work better for me than just the overall bigger, because the bigger goals are all more business goals. And I have a few personal goals that I really would like to focus on as well. So, um, uh, those ones, I want to make sure I get them forward because they are, they're holding me back from achieving some of the other things I want to do. Okay, guys, let's see what else here. Uh, the real salties. Hello, hello. Uh, Bryn, let's see. Caring for an audio review for the Google audiobook and setting up two print books. Sweet. Um, let's see. Rita, just the house cleaning to move forward then. The rest is just the continuation of tasks. Yeah, yeah. Usually most things, most things like the writing, we know we're going to be writing that book for, you know, a month or two or three, right? Um, the very least to get through draft one or draft two or whatever right but the other things come with a you know there's other things that come into our lives that is it still gonna is it still serving what we need and what matters to us let's see mary 
uh, writing, I want to get back to work on my work in progress. And after watching Sarah's video today about her writing desk, I've decided to scrap the idea of a separate writing space. It just wasn't working. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I think for some people that is that is helpful. And I think for others, it's just something that it's just not going to work for them. Um, for me, I've found that I am trying to... I did get a new chair, which is something that is helping immensely um, to keep me at my desk more. I was avoiding my desk because of the chair. So sometimes it's not even the desk. It's the chair that if, if we're not comfortable and you're not feeling good at it. I mean, I have a standing desk when these days I actually should come to you guys live standing and see if it works well. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. I want to, though. Uh, okay, guys, let's dive into our next card. And I will have to figure out what I did with the other one. Um, apparently, I put it somewhere. Uh, okay, that's the only flaw with index cards, right, guys? Uh, let's see. Okay, so we're going to dive into our long-range projects. Are there any long range projects that you need to bring, start bringing into your plan? And are there any that you want to delay because you've realized the time is not right for them? Okay, two minute timer going up and let's just see if there's anything in those long range projects that we want to bring into our plan and anything that we want to set aside. And it's just for later. We're not getting rid of it, we're postponing. Okay guys, two minute timer. So how did that one go for you? I figured out that it's a house thing that I have to figure out and the time is now. So I'm going to have to bring that in regardless if I feel ready to do it or not and start making it happen because <laughs> it needs my attention. Uh, let's see. Let's see, where did I end off now? Okay. Oh. oh, here we go. There it is. Uh, let's see, Elizabeth. My plan for this week is to move my iPad away from me when I'm doing developmental edits handwritten. Ooh, that's yes. Yes, tech. Put it out of reach, out of mind. Let's see. Rita, I have an entire and separate writing room with a window. Ooh, nice. Let's see, Lori, hello, hello. I've been missing these sprints, but no writing tonight. Need to do some research. Sweet. Uh, let's see, Elizabeth, my plan is to get my first book done with developmental edits, line edits, and then proofreading so I can then print out a copy to give to my cousin on Christmas since he agreed to be a beta reader. Oh, I love that. And that's a beautiful deadline you attached to that. That's so sweet. I love that. 
let's see. Heather, nothing to add to my long term. At least that part of my life is stable. And Q3 to start it. So face it, we've already sort of, for the most part, sort of brought that stuff in. This, I think, will be more um, at the monthly marks where we might have something that is, it's part of our quarterly, uh, for the future quarter. But, you know, it's sort of, we can start to see how far we're making in terms of progress. And if there's room for that little bit of extra, sometimes things go faster than we think it's going to, and we have room to um, add. It doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, it feels good. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Jenna, I'm pushing back, looking for the series rebrands, new book covers until the end of August. I should focus more on book one's revisions and book four's draft. Definitely a good plan, very solid. Um, let's see. Lane started my new genre research last week, and I'm super psyched for it. So that's definitely a project I'm keeping this week. Perfect. Don't overdo yourself. That can be your fun. Right there. <laughs> um, Rita, finish the, finish the revisions in the book I'm working at now. Self-publish research and fix the cat tree that was destroyed by, in the storm last night. Ooh, sure it probably wouldn't. I shouldn't be on the deck anyways. <laughs> no, that's fine. Not a problem. Uh, let's see. Um, Bryn, nothing long-term right now. And Mary, oops, if I click the right thing, I don't even know what that little star does. I should find out. Uh, as far as long range goals, I'm continuing to work on my health. That's pretty much it. Yes. Let's see, and yes, research is definitely fun for me. There, perfect. Okay, guys, what is our next card? Oh, this is Elaine's favorite. Okay. What are you avoiding and why? What did you not get done last week that needed to get done, that you wanted to get done, but you're avoiding? Um, make that your number one priority for next week. If you have your calendar handy, schedule it right on in there. <laughs> Two minute timer going up. What are you avoiding and why? on uh, so friends scheduling advertising it's expensive why and yes it is and make sure what you're choosing is actually going to get you the results you're looking for some of them uh, they sound good but do they really reach the people the the audience that you need to reach let's see 
Elizabeth, I am avoiding cleaning that needs to get done. Isn't it usually cleaning? Uh-huh, yep. <laughs> so true. Uh, let's see. Rita, extra cleaning jobs, but I have until Friday. Maybe I should use one of my of those lives. Rats. That's a good idea, too. It just takes the, the stress off. 25 minutes, you can do quite a bit, and you know it's not going to last forever. <laughs> Ah, avoidance tactics, right? Heather, housework, because, well, it's housework. Also, a conversation with my husband that I don't want to have. Mm. It was important. Get it done. That way you guys can move forward. Uh, let's see. T. Marie, easy social media. I make posts and film the TikToks, but I always overthink everything and worry about what people would think. In the end, I simply don't post anything. Yes, and that is a hard cycle. You're just going to, it sucks to use it, but sometimes you just have to go with good enough and get it out there into the world um, because sometimes our good enough is somebody else's great and we, we can keep our, we can hold ourselves paralyzed forever um, by ju just thinking things are not quite there yet. Um I'm sensing a theme. Yep. <laughs> Rita, by the sounds of it, I'm glad I don't. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Rita. Oh, no, sorry. Lane, I'm avoiding these final few edits because I'm nervous about the reception of this book. First, a new series, but they just have to get done. Time is up and I need to pay the mortgage. Yes. And it's probably better than you think it is. It's it's our self-doubt that drags us down so much. It's probably amazing. It's going to your editor. Your editor is going to be able to help you fix it or anything that needs to be fixed. Just get it into their hands so that can happen. And free yourself so you can start working on your new genre. <laughs> Mary, housework and writing, they seem to be the two things I'm always avoiding. Laugh out loud. But I'm doing housework tonight, so that's a step in the right direction. Writing, fixing up my office should help. Yes. And look at your chair and see if maybe it's a height issue or something that's not quite comfortable. Um, it might be something, I mean, if you're using an old chair or even try maybe put a cushion behind or something, just give yourself more back support. That's what I found myself doing with the other chair because I was always sitting on the edge of the seat and my back would hurt. And I went, why? So just try to do a few things that might help. It might not, but it's worth a try and see. And then, you know, if you can put it into your budget, maybe a new chair or a new desk in the future, but try to basically work yourself, look at ways that you can solve from what we already have. Let's see. Um, Rita, by the sounds of it, I'm glad I don't have to do other social media stuff like TikTok and Twitter. It's not a bad thing. It's, it's our own hangups of nothing being good enough. Nothing. It's it's just what we do. It's terrible. We need to stop because it isn't healthy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Jenna, I need to get back into being less of a hermit with it. Ah, okay. With social media, yes. Um, it's it's an easy thing to do to ourselves. So give yourself grace. Always give yourself grace. My earrings all turned around. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Um, and Lane, done is definitely better than perfect. Yes, because you can fix done. And perfect is never perfect. It's a lie we tell ourselves. Um, yes, I want my new genre. Yes, you do. So get that edit done and get it to your editor so it can be looked at and fixed. <laughs> Elizabeth, editors have seen writing work that is much worse Lane, than what you have written. Yes, true. Very true. <laughs> and so thank you to Elizabeth, definitely. Okay, guys, we are heading into our next one here, which is projects. Now, if you already know how you want to break down your projects to make them easier to handle, go ahead and do that. But if you just right now just have the bigger picture project, just write it down, and that's it's that that will do for now. We will go into it after and do some fixing. Uh, Mary, I did buy a new chair earlier this year, so that's not the issue. My biggest issues are clutter and the fact that my bedroom feels small and cramped, and that is not helping you because you want to be able to move around. I also film a cup full of writing on my desktop. Then that's what you should do. <laughs> Let's see. Um, 
And you're welcome, Elaine from Elizabeth. Perfect. Okay, guys. So let's dive in and figure out what the projects are that we're actively working on, the ones that we're introducing, why these projects, and how are they furthering us toward the our bigger goals and dreams. Okay, guys, two minute timer going up and go. Projects. That's right. Okay. Okay. Do we have anything down there? Yeah, I think so. I got the main points anyway. I am forgetting to put exercise, exercise, exercise. There, get that down there for this time. <laughs> Is there anything you guys are forgetting to write down that you know it's so obvious? It's like, why am I not getting this on the list? Uh, let's see. Um, Elizabeth, I am continuing developmental edits, and I plan to plan edits with how many hours I plan to do work instead of how much work, since it's hard to know how long a chapter or scene will take to edit. Yes, you never know exactly what the the variable is going to be, because sometimes you pick up a scene and it's good to go you don't have to worry about it and then there's other ones that it's a full rewrite it just doesn't work anymore right so that's a good plan um Rita no new projects my my three separate writing projects and the accounting for hubby is enough for me but I would like to declutter the house yeah and just take a one room at a time one quarter at a time and you'll you'll make progress and it will feel like it won't be as painful let's see um Lane, my project this week is the book and I guess updating website. The book's priority though. That's the main one. <laughs> and the website, you can use that as a as a reward as well. Just to kind of have that that a little break, but still working towards your goals. Uh, let's see. Um, Elizabeth, I also want to exercise this week by cycling. Nice. The weather should be good for it, definitely. Uh, Heather, my main projects is getting my story written and keeping up with the house. Yes. Okay. Uh, Elaine, breakdown for the project. Finish the scene. Reread book. Check for continuity and write epilogue. Listen to it being read. Proof myself. Hit send. Yes. You've got this. You've so got this. And believe me, website updates are also something I avoid. <laughs> You'll get to it. It's okay. All right. What are we doing next, guys? What is the next thing on our plans? We have our projects. 
I need to break mine down a little bit. Why do I feel like I missed something? Oh, I missed the one that I want to get doing more. I need to make sure that gets on there because I am tired of forgetting to do it. <laughs> uh, Bryn, um, just expanding into print and audio, finishing the darn book. You've got this. Okay, guys, our next one. Oops, as long as I'm not there. The double clicking on that, I'm going to have to figure that part out. Um, okay, now we move on to those annoying little smaller tasks that take up our time. What smaller tasks we we will need your attention this week? Easy for me to say. Things like self care, chores, and admin tasks. And think about sort of as you're planning these ones, try to maybe batch them because they're often only like two and five minute little tasks. If you can batch them and put them together so that you can put them into one Pomodoro or two, you are far more likely to succeed and get them done. Okay, guys, so what self-care, sorry, self-care chores and admin tasks do you need to get done this week? And go. Hmm. Okay, how did you do? How did you do? What did you come up with? Um, so Elizabeth, uh, my doctor appointment is right after work tomorrow. I also need to declutter my desk. You've got this. Um, Elaine, gym is important for me this week to help relax and combat RSI. Admin as usual, let Facebook group know I won't be around much. A plus content needs to go up for the new book to help promo. Definitely good plan. Very solid. Um, let's see. Mary, self-care. I'm going to make sure my grocery list contains more of the options. Plus, I plan to increase my walking tours. I'm working on the most important ones tonight and then spreading out the rest. That's a good, healthy plan. I like that. Uh, let's see. Heather, I'm I'm not at to the point of having a min that I need to do it, that I need to do yet. And self-care is ready, at least for now. That's okay. And self-care will, and self-care is different for everyone. Self-care is playing video games for some people. It's taking a walk for others. It's soaking a tub for others. It's lighting a candle and just relaxing. I can have a reading a book. It's all sorts of things we can do. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Bren, social media interaction posts. Oh, yes. I mean, A plus content. Definitely. Let's see. Um, Elaine, it's so annoying. Yeah, it is. Ah, all the necessary things we have to do in our lives that help, but also delay us and hinder us in some ways, right? 
Okay. Let's see. So, um, hey, Suffolk. Um, hey, hey, I'm more or less just woken up. I left Twitch open on my PC on your account and came back to see you live. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I love it. Oh, thank you for joining us. All right, guys. Now, we're going to have to take, take a look at your larger goals and see if they need to be broken down, if there's anything that will make it easier for you to be able to um, make progress. If there's anything that's creating overwhelm, something that you, every time you sit down to do it, it's just too big of the picture, find those little steps that you can do to make progress on them. Uh, read that written down. I need to go for more walks, chores, regular stuff, and clean the fridge. Tarot readings continue with, re with revisions and accounting. Nice. Okay. Uh, so two-minute timer for those larger goals. Um, I'm going to try to piece mine out and see if I can actually create something a little calmer for myself. Two-minute timer, guys. See if you can do the same. I decided to get smart about this time. Instead of writing it as a separate category, I went back to the projects list and just wrote little notes all over it to make it really easy for myself to see how the breakdown could occur. And now just to follow through. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Who did I leave off on? Yes, yes. Okay. Oops. One more. I think we're on Elizabeth here. Let's see. Yes. Um, Elizabeth, I will spend at least 12 hours a week on developmental edits until it's done. Sweet. Um, see, and Heather, getting the house clean and decluttered is my overwhelming goal. I need to break it down by room, and then before I tackle the room, break down exactly what I need to do in that room. Yeah, and literally, it could be as simple as just take it, pick a corner, and that's the corner you focus on. And you ignore the rest until that is done. Uh, let's see. Um, Rita, for my larger goals that I'm finding it overwhelming with all my photos and silly cat videos of my cats over the years, and then I asked myself, why did it even take them? Why did why did I even take them all? I have a few more <laughs> thousands. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yes, I have an overly photographed puppers too. Yeah. Yep. I hear you. <clears throat> Most photographed dog in the world. <laughs> 
Elaine, I know the steps for getting this book ready. I just have to do them now and continue my research into the new genre, fill out spreadsheets, keep generating ideas. Yes, yes. Have yourself a little note, but that's just, you know, for that, right? Let's see if I can show you guys. I can show you. For anyone who hasn't seen my beautiful boy, this is little. I don't know if it'll do it with the screen. There you go. That's my sweet baby. <laughs> ah, he's a bit heavy, so he doesn't end up on screen very often because he takes over my entire lap. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's see, T. Marie, I've been wanting to expand my newsletter. And I've been planning on a reader magnet to attract new readers. Every time I sit down to finish writing it, I get too around with the whole process. So start with just brainstorming what you want it to be and just go from there and, uh, and then start building out your plan for it. Rita, I just spend 10 or 15 minutes on it and then close the folders and write. It's easier that way, but at least I'm still working on accounting, even though it frustrates me too. Mm, yes, but you're still working on it. You're making progress, which is awesome. Uh, oh yeah, and the declutter of the house, toss all those t-shirts and actually make that blanket. Interesting. Oh, and the other half of T. Marie's, because I jumped around, half of it is already written. Perfect. Rita, um, also that is really, that really is your talk in the chat scene, but yes, it is. <laughs> ah, that is my sweet boy. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. As we are in these summer months and vacations and holidays and all those fun things are coming our way and also distractions in terms of family visits and stuff that will interfere with our regular plans. Is there anything you want to get ahead of so you could have that buffer so you can completely relax and enjoy your vacation or time with family when they arrive and you don't have to worry about getting those things done because you've already given, built in a buffer for yourself. Okay, guys, two minute timer up. Anything that you want to get ahead of? Let's see, Elizabeth, one thing that is good to understand is that if you learned everything you need to know for your project at once, it would be extremely overwhelming. So small pieces at a time is much more manageable. Definitely, I agree with that. That is awesome. Thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, let's see, Elaine, well, T. Um, T Marie uh, just reminded me I'm halfway through a newsletter magnet as well for the new book. 
and I need to finish it. So I have time, maybe that. And keep it as a sort of give yourself all the time that you need. Um, let's see. Oops, did you? I think I went a little too far off there. Okay, and Bryn, let's see. I'm working on my December work for the for next few months, so I can mostly be off. Oh, sweet. I love that. Yes. And even if it's something long range like that, I love that. That way you can really just take off the holiday season and everything is in its place and you don't have to, you have that extra buffer. I love that. Let's see, Elizabeth, I want to do lots of developmental edits this week. If I can get 14 to 16 hours of work in this week on edits, that would be great. That's actually fairly doable. Don't burn out though, because you also have to deal with the job stuff, right? So pace yourself and be kind. Uh, Suffolk, Facebook, do you know if this is the right phone number for this place? What well, looks at the place which isn't even in the country I'm in? Not a clue. <laughs> well, that's Facebook for you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Um, for me, I think the things I need to do for buffers are the things that would just, they, they go hand in hand with the things I'm avoiding. So if I can create some form of buffer and have extra material, maybe that wouldn't be so bad because then maybe I would be able to just kind of be able to dive in and, and, in, uh, and actually have more of them in place so that it doesn't feel so overwhelming and so individual. Um, often my, uh, I don't get as much, I work one video at a time and then it, I feel overwhelmed because it's like, it's all or nothing. If I kept doing and I would get better and you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, Heather, uh, I'm working on not losing the buffer I have for my nano goal right now. The website says I should hit it on the 24th but I had been at the 16th at one point in time. Hmm, that's not a bad buffer though. That's actually really good. Mary, I'd like to get ahead on decluttering so that I can focus on my work in progress. Sweet. And Rita, nothing is needed to get ahead of, no deadlines, only the meeting and next week in events, spending quality time with my dad, and then our daughter comes home next Thursday for a week or so, family time. That is beautiful, I love that. And uh, Elizabeth, my job is quite respected. That's good. Okay, so now for one of the other dreaded steps we do here. Um, take a look at your overall plan. Can you successfully manage to do everything that you've selected to do with the available time that you have? Two minute timer, let's review and see if we can if we've taken more, then we can actually manage.
Okay, um, so out of those, did you choose to delay anything or set it aside? Um, or just take a smaller piece of that so you can continue moving forward with it, but not as big of a chunk of it. Uh, I think I just realized I included about four things into my schedule that if I do them will pull me out of the house. And that is definitely going to cost time to my regular schedule. So I don't necessarily have to do them this week, but they do need to get done. So I wanted to figure out how exactly I'm going to balance all that and how much time it's going to actually take. And I'm sure it's going to take longer than even that. So I'm going to figure that out. Um, oh, repetitive. <laughs> I thought you were saying they were actually very respectful of your time. <laughs> but repetitive is true. It's <laughs> good. Uh, let's see. Um, Elaine, I think I'm good this week. Basically, the book, and I have all week, and it's really just fiddling. <coughs> Sorry, at this stage, except for the epilogue. Other stuff that doesn't get done won't make or break me. Beautiful. Heather, um, I think I've been realistic, but not having my extra day off. We'll see if I planned right. Ooh, that's true, because you have a slight change to your regular scheduling. Let's see, Rita, next weekend, I may need to catch some of those AWC videos on Restream. Maybe even split the virtual writing uh, retreat into this weekend and in August. Ooh, I like that, actually. That's a good plan. Yes, I didn't even think about the AWC. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put that in there because I would certainly like to participate in some of those and figure out how I'm going to balance that all out. We'll see. <laughs> I think they're going to be available on everyone's channels. So I think it's going to, we're going to be able to go through and watch them on replay, which will be good. Because I don't know if I can, I look to the schedule. I don't think I can keep up. Not that much. <laughs> uh, Rita, I'm getting used to watching Restream for uh, live streams. Yes. Uh, let's see. Elizabeth, manufacturing, manufacturing work exists in manufacturing. Okay. Interesting. Um, oh, yes. From Elaine and AWC will be fun. I think it will as well. Thank you for the reminder. I'm going to have to get that as part of the weekend plan so I can at least take part in a little bit of it. Uh, okay. Um, so we've done that one. Okay. So. The next step is going to be to uh, populate our our planners with what we've just planned. Um, but at the same time, I want you guys to do the first one. And I think this is really important because I think this is one of the things we don't actually do for ourselves. I want, to, I want you to open your main planner and schedule self-care, whether that be soaking in the tub, reading sessions, watching your favorite show, shows, or playing board games or video games, I want you to schedule at least two sessions next week to ensure you are taking time for you. So I don't. I, uh, I'm going to throw my pull my weekly out, and I'm going to plunk in some video games and board games because those are, I find them very relaxing and I do enjoy them. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. So I'm going to put a two minute timer up just so we can focus in on getting those two self care sessions put in at least. Nope, no, no. Can I push for I don't know. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. I want to see this one a little. Good. Okay, let's see. Go back here. And where do we end off here? Okay, close to that. Um, let's see. Oop, doesn't want to roll. Um, and so I guess I have a bit of brain fog from Peyton. Yes. Um, Bryn is asking what AWC is. Uh, Rita is looking forward to it. Um, and Rita gave it a good answer there. Um, author 2 writing conference. If Jenna is still here, she's co-organizer. And yes, Sarah has a live on Saturday. Check the times. Oh, I love that. Beautiful. Um, Elizabeth, I will go cycling at least a few times this week since exercise is necessary for my stress levels and my ADHD hyperactivity. Perfect. Um, Elaine, yes, author two love load. I was like, wait, author writing. <laughs> she, I love it. Uh, Elaine, I will do some reading in my new genre, which is fun despite being work, and I'll go to the gym today and Thursday. Cafe writing Tuesday and Friday. Oh, that's a beautiful plan. Love that. Uh, Rita, for self-care, I will take a blanket and sit in the yard for 30 men. More during the day reading time, just not for three hours at night. That is, yes. I allow myself about a half hour at night. And sometimes I, I swear even that's more than I should probably be doing. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, Mary, I put the AWC as my self-care. I'm still trying to figure out where to schedule in my walks. Oh, okay. Yes, I tried. I put I put our virtual writing retreat. I put the um, author writing conference down there. I'm go going to try to bring you guys a bonus sprint sometime this week as well, if life will allow, which I'm hoping it will, because I very much would like to do that. Um, and then I want to... And then I also put in some video games and board games on Tuesday and Thursday to have some family time. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, guys, you know what's left to do. Uh, the next step is to populate your planner or planners with this plan. Um, be kind to yourselves. Make sure you're not over planning um, and making some days too heavy for you. Make sure you're taking those breaks that you need. Schedule in the breaks if you can so that you go and you have your, you eat, you get the sleep you need, and you actually get to walk around and move around and you're not tied to your desk for too long at any given session. Okay, guys, I will see you next week for our next plan with me. I will make sure to get that notification up as fast as I can. Probably Thursday, though, before I know for sure, um, because we have to figure out where we can put the plan with me given everything else that's happening next weekend i can't do it in the 7 p.m so it'll either be in 8 p.m on sunday or i'll have to move it around and put it to maybe something on saturday and shift things around but i will let you guys know uh let's see okay oops rita um i like awc and virtual as self-care so i'll add to watch some of sarah's videos i like that it's beautiful Elizabeth, you are so welcome. Elaine, uh, thank you for the planning session. You are so welcome. Thank you guys for joining me. You are. I hope we're coming together and definitely getting more done. And it's not so lonely, which I'm loving. And um, I will. I look forward to seeing you guys throughout the week on other sprints. And like I said, I'm going to try to get that bonus in there for you guys as well. Heather, these are really helping me. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Uh, let's see, Mary, uh, thanks for streaming. This is, was very helpful. I feel less overwhelmed about the things I need to do. Oh, that's wonderful. I, I love hearing that. Um, and let's see, and another pre-protective pre-supper event. Love that. <laughs> ah, those other writing goals down will help me get more done. I need to keep doing this with every goal I have. Oh, love that. Love that. Lysanda, glad I caught it live. I usually watch three. Sweet. Okay. Okay, guys, um, that was absolutely awesome. And I'm so glad you joined me again for another amazing planning session. I like, dislike being overwhelmed. Yes, it's not a good feeling. It really isn't. Okay, guys, 
head on out, grab a, have a beverage, sit down with your post-its and your Kanban board and your planner and everything that you need and your plan that you've just created and populate your planners and make another a successful week ahead. Okay, guys, have a great night and I'll see you throughout the week and on the weekend. Bye, guys.